if you know me by now, you know I absolutely love Minecraft, and the amount of mods made for Minecraft is just truly insane, and I don't think there's another game out there like it. Or at least one that doesn't come close. Now, I know for some people, Minecraft mods can take away from the, the Minecraft experience, but there are mods out there that add to Minecraft in a way that I feel should be already in the game, and that's what today's video is all about. Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft, but we're going to be adding simple yet effective mods to the game. I don't do videos like this very often, or when I do, they either do extremely well, or no one gives a shit. So today, we're going to be seeing what Minecraft will be like if some features that a lot of people would love to see, but are simple, were added to the game. The first mod I actually want to show is the one that gave me the idea to even make this video. This mod is called the Effective Mod, and I hear what you're saying. Troy, what the frick does that do? Well, if we spawn in a cow, you might notice something a little different when the cow hits the water. Ah, oh, we need to get rid of the test subject now. Sorry, Bessie, <laughs> it had to oh, ignore that. That's right, this mod adds it so when an animal or an entity hits the water, there is now a splash effect, and that includes for players. And it's so simple, yet so effective. See what I, see what I did there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, now you know what the title means. <laughs> Not only does it work with entities like our friend Bessie over there, but it also works with blocks, and depending on the amount of speed that they have before they hit the water, the bigger the splash. Bro, <laughs> bro, Mojang, add this. This is so cool. It's so simple, yet effective. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to get old quick. Not only does the mod work with water, but it also works with lava. Adding little lava splash effects. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, oh we're going to have to test it on an entity. Oh, that sheep. I'm sorry. Trust me, it's for your own good. Come with me. I'm so... <laughs> this is no... Okay, we have to line this up. This is so dumb. And go. And... <laughs> It didn't hit the lava. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Come here, chicken. You're my next test subject. Oh, this is such a professional video. Part of me just realized, uh, I think chickens glide, but I guess we're going to find out what happens. Uh, I'm going to hit the floor first, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, this could go two ways. And splat. Uh, <laughs> but now, as we will see right here, this... Didn't make a splash, damn it. <laughs> Just believe me when I say that there are splash effects. Yeah, you can kind of see them. <laughs> Not only does the effective mod also add in cool splash effects, it also adds in something that is very subtle, but you might start hearing it. Oh, what's that? It has waterfall effects. <laughs> and depending on the size of the waterfall is how loud the effect is and how many particles are there. Bro, that is so cool. And splash. Oh, I wish I could see the splash effect, but oh my God, that's so cool. Yet again, another simple yet so effective. I, I love this. I love this mod. Go give it a download. It is so good. <laughs> oh, before we jump into the next thing, yes, the entity size does affect the splash. Uh, there was no splash. What the, what the frick? But yes, depending on the size or the speed of the thing, it does actually affect the splash, which is so cool. But anyway, that's enough on that one. Let's jump into the next simple yet effective mod. Let's say you've just set up your nice new enchantment table and you want to enchant something. Well, obviously Minecraft has a pretty good enchantment system, but it can be a little bit better. So now when we put in an item, you might notice something. Uh, oh, that is so cool. This item, we can now see, we can just plonk in some lapis and now okay okay this is actually <laughs> this is actually sick <laughs> now there is a new 3d effect that floats around the sword and we can give it the enchantment it just like that boom we have an enchanted item just like that and we can leave the lapis in the enchantment table how freaking good is that <laughs> look compared to the last mod this is probably a lot simpler but still all the same it is so freaking Cool. Depending on how much lapis you have in there is depending on how many show up, depending on the item, it floats. Uh, I generally think this is probably one of the coolest looking mods you can get, especially considering how simple it is. And even you could even just have it for display. Boom. Just like that. We don't need to touch anything in there anymore. Boom. It's a display piece. And it looks magical and awesome. Mojang, please, please, any of the stuff you're seeing in today's video, please add it. It's so cool. But yeah, the, again, this is so simple yet effective. I, why am I still doing that? <laughs> the next mod up is probably the biggest mod so far out of all of these mods. That mod is the physics mod. And if you know anything about the physics mod, you know that this does quite a lot. <laughs> Whether it's the simple stuff like making the throne items actually 3D, which is pretty cool, pretty simple, like to the more insane stuff, like giving, you know, Tapes actual cloth physics 
Uh, oh, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> and you can completely customize what cape you want. Like, look at this. Uh, bro, that is awesome. And it dropped. Oh, it hangs off the edge of the block. Oh, this is so cool. I mean, this is way less simple yet effective, but it's still simple and effective. Did that make any sense? No, uh, no, it didn't. Or to the actual simple and effective stuff of giving mobs <laughs> ragdoll physics for when you kill them. This, like, this is... This is sick, and then you can push them around. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Or maybe you don't like ragdoll physics. You can also give them fractured, which is a little bit more gruesome, I'm, I'm gonna admit, but hey, if you're, if you're into that kind of stuff, well, now you get it. <laughs> oh, that is so weird. <laughs> and well, of course, the same goes for blocks. If, if you want, you can, yep. You can make blocks of that. I mean, that's less simple, but hey, you can, you can also make them blocky. So now it's a, a, a heck of a lot more Minecrafty. But still, that's 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 not really simple and effective. I just wanted to add it to the list because it's so cool. And like, I mean, it is so cool. Like, he keeps adding such cool things to this mod. Like, what is this? You can actually throw snowballs and they shatter into pieces of snow? That, like, come on. That is sick. <laughs> and yes, I know. There are other things in the physics mod as well. Like, actually making the kelp underwater fully physics-based. Oh, this is... Like, that's ridiculous. That That's so not Minecrafty, but it's so cool. It actually doesn't really look out of place. I don't know what it is. It's actually pretty freaking cool. Like, that's not Minecrafty at all, but it is. It's so Minecrafty. Does that make any sense? No? Again? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> and yes, before you go yelling at me, yes, I know. Vines also do it, which. Which. Oh, man, that's. That's so cool! Ah he is also expecting to add in some actual water-based physics in the future, so expect me to revisit this mod when that actually comes out. But anyway, uh, th there's still other mods to show, believe it or not. I know this one's amazing, but there's more! <laughs> Let's quickly knock a few more uh, smaller, simple, but effective mods out. The first one you've probably actually already noticed if you have a keen eye, but you can probably see if you zoom in on my character real quick, all of the actual third skin, or should I say the second layer of my skin, is now 3D. You can see it's actually blocky and it comes out and it doesn't just float there. Something that's simple, but I kind of hope Mojang actually adds it in the future because, well, it's really cool. And if, if you don't like it, then maybe add a, you know, a feature to the, oh, where is it? What's it called? You know, the skin customization tab. Just add it as an option here. Boom. Simple, but effective. <laughs> oh man, I'm still getting over that. Some of you have already probably noticed the next simple, but effective thing. A little bit of a blur to the background for when you open up a menu. Uh, it, that's, that's, it, come on. That's it, it's simple, but effective. Like, uh, I think you get the point by now. <laughs> and the next really small one, which I think just should be in Minecraft by now, we have shift. Why don't we have a crawl? Like, it, it's so simple, but it's, it's so helpful. Do you know how helpful this would be instead of having to set up a freaking trap door everywhere we go? This is so simple, but effective. I, ah, oh, this is the point of the video, damn it. <laughs> but now, before we end this video off, I thought there just had to be one more mod I needed to show before I could say something that I want to see in Minecraft, but I just know the next one we're never going to see. So I just, I just kind of want to show it, you know, come on. I'm guessing by me holding the obsidian, you might be able to guess uh, what I'm, I'm about to show. <laughs> Still have no idea? Well, uh, uh, yeah, give it a second. Uh, oh, this is, oh, c come on, <laughs> come on. What is this, bro? No crashes or anything on 1.18? Like, just being able to do this? I don't think it's very simple, but it's very effective. <laughs> if you haven't seen this, this is obviously the immersive portals, and it's something I think everyone that has tried it would love to see in Minecraft, and heck, maybe even add it as an option that we can turn on and off, because this, this is insane. I don't have Optifine, I don't have Sodium installed, and well, as you can see, I can still run at 93 FPS, oh, 60 lowest, and my computer's not that beefy, and I can do this, and oh, a splash effect! We didn't get to show it earlier, but as you can see, it does exist. But yes, this is something I would love to see in Minecraft. And well, the things we can do with this are pretty much endless. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. And having it maybe be toggle, tog, toggleable? Toggleable? Is that even a word? But having it be toggleable would just be amazing. And well, that it's it's just incredible. But you know what? Before we end this, let's let's show off one more bonus little clip. Not clip, I should probably say mod. No, no should I say mod? No, no, one little bonus resource pack. These ones are so simple, I don't even think some of you guys are gonna notice it. Oh, uh, well, maybe some real Minecraft Venom. Oh, uh, no, crap, that was, not, that was not the right word. But maybe some real Minecraft pros might notice it. But falling leaves and a slight 
difference in the actual leaves. As you can see, they have little eff effects coming off of them now. They have little three, like, you know, they're leaves. Like leaves, they're not blocky or fully, bl they are blocky. Okay, look, they are blocky. It's Minecraft and we can't really change that. But it is still something so simple and yet it doesn't really become that noticeable unless you know it's there. Now, obviously all of these things that I've shown in the video are my own personal preference. And some of you guys might just love Minecraft the way it is. I know some people out there don't even like when Minecraft gets updates because they think that ruins the Minecraft they come to new and love. But having now played Minecraft for over 10 years, I could say, without a doubt, that all the things that have been added to Minecraft, other than phantoms, are amazing. <laughs> I had to target them, didn't I? In all seriousness, though, all the things that have been added to Minecraft and all the things that Mojang do and are doing to Minecraft and have planned for Minecraft are incredible. And the Caves and Cliffs update has just gotten me more excited for what's to come in the future. And hopefully some of the things I brought up in today's video might get added. But of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. This is where I'm going to leave it. A bit of a weird video on my behalf. But hey, if you want to see maybe more in the future like this, like this was simple but effective, but maybe uh, extreme and over the top mod, then be sure to let me know by leaving a like on this video and be sure to also post the comments oh not to post the comments yeah be sure to also say in the comment section down below what mods you maybe want me to check out in the future because you guys make me want to make content for my channel and it's just it keeps me motivated and i know i'm sounding all sappy so i'm gonna stop there i hope you guys did enjoy this video my name is troy and i'll see you in the next one see you guys